It happens around this time of year every year, a thick sludge-like layer of blue-green algae in the Hamilton Harbor. This year, the thick buildup is particularly unbearable at Bayfront Park, causing a strong foul smell. As Danielle DeGraw reports, there is no simple solution on the way. Looks like a green wool blanket trapped under the surface of the water. Blue-green algae happens every year, but this summer it has been unbearable for some people in Hamilton and Burlington. There was, you know, floating masses of this blue-green type of algae, I guess, but it was significant. I've never seen that amount of um, algae or, or biomass ever. Brad, who didn't want to share his last name, says the algae in the harbor behind his home in Burlington has lasted for three days now. It's expanded to the LaSalle Harbor, too. It was irritating uh, to the uh, air passages, and we couldn't stay down here or stay down here too long. The experience is worse down at Bayfront in Hamilton. Boat owner Anthony Allward says he's been living with the unbearable stench for three weeks. He says the algae is expected at this time of the summer, but this year the smell makes it hard to live with. It was like if an outhouse was left in the sun for three weeks and got moldy. Um, it's kind of hard to eat and then come walk down here sometimes with this odor. There were other boat owners at this marina that wanted to make comment but didn't want to say it on camera. They said that they've been trying to contact City Hall about a solution, but we're looking forward to today's meeting to see what could be done. The algae was on today's agenda at the Hamilton City Council meeting. Councillor Cameron Kretsch says the problem is, quote, insurmountable and cites climate change and environmental causes such as the amount of rainfall received this year. We can't just go down there with a fire hose like we did in the past perhaps and spray these mats hoping that will assist. Why we can't go down there and vacuum these mats up because when we do that not only do they come back in 72 hours but it makes them grow, it makes them spread, and it makes the problem worse. A motion was passed supporting a so-called watershed action plan that aims to prevent large algae blooms in the long term. However, there are no immediate relief actions planned other than monitoring the problem. In the past, the city has used sucker trucks to vacuum the algae from Bayfront, but in an email to CHCH News, the city says, Removing algae mechanically could also create airborne toxins that would put the public and staff at risk. Additionally, disturbing the algae can lead to it growing larger and spreading more widely in the harbor. So for now, the stench is expected to last until the algae breaks down on its own. Danielle DeGraw, CHCH News, Hamilton.